I'm just going to record how I take a crop wash on a little budgerigar. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I'm doing is hooking the beak and I'm opening the mouth. In this budgie we can see that the palps, those red areas, I call them the palps, the red areas in the base of, at the base of the, up here on the roof of the mouth are a bit swollen, um, which is often nutritional. I'm putting the crop tube over the base of the tongue from the left side going across to the right side. I'm sliding it down without force. As he swallows it's going down under my thumb. I can feel it passing under my thumb and I'm just feeding it down until it's down at the level of the crop which is here at the base of his neck. I'm checking that I could feel it there. I'm making sure that he's upright as I syringe in up to a mill of water or saline, usually water, sterile water. And now I'm just taking back and forth until I get a little bit flowing back up into the into the uh, syringe. And I've now what's got got what's called a crop wash. I've taken the needle out straight. I'm sending the little birdie love and we'll just talk to him for a moment. Hey, and say you're beautiful. Yes you are. And then I'll put him back. And then from here we prepare thanks. Uh, we prepare a thin smear similar to what we were doing before, only there's a couple of other techniques. So we're taking putting a small amount of what I aspirated from the, um, the crop onto the slide and then I'm rolling the outer aspect of the crop needle in the fluid so that I collect cells and any trichomonas organisms that might have been in the upper part of the throat where I didn't take a direct sample into the smear. So I've now got a smear with some bubbles. Don't need the bubbles. I'll get a cover slip and I'll be back. So with a cover slip, this is a cover slip and microscope slide, I'm now going to gently place that on the edge of the fluid so that the bubbles go out the side. So you can see the bubbles gradually disappearing, as I don't want to be looking through bubbles. And so just a gentle tap or two and most of the bubbles disappear. It is now, the slides are now ready for microscopic examination as wet smears. So that will be the next step. Does that make a better recording there? I don't know if it does. No, I've, yeah, on, on the I white, think it'll be fine. On the white or on? It's probably better on a, black, a dark background. I yeah, say. anyway. There's, there, there's a faecal smear at this end of the slide, the crop smear at this end of the slide, and I will look at that under the microscope while it's still wet before I do any stain smears. Mm.